I'm not even close to to my potential. That was two years ago. And this is now. After spinning their wheels at home during the height of the corona pandemic, 26-year-old professional cyclist Guy Neve and his Israel Startup Nation teammates started gearing up for the Tour de France in the hills of northern Israel. Uh, thinking about the Tour of France, for sure I have uh, goosebumps only from saying it and thinking about it. And for the past few weeks, Guy and his teammates have been training up to seven hours a day at over 6,000 feet above sea level in the picturesque mountains of Andorra, Spain. So basically here in Andorra, there is no flats. You either go up or go down. And it's a pretty special uh, place to do a training camp. Guy has been heading in the right direction ever since his bar mitzvah. So when I ask for a present for my family, my parents, it was to go and watch the Tour de France. So I was there once when I was 13 years old. I don't think that when I ask to go to the Tour, I understand what it really means. <laughs> In 2018, the Giro d'Italia attracted worldwide attention, racing in Israel for the first time. We were really surprised that so many people came and enjoyed this cycling race. And to be part of it as a rider in my home country was seriously beyond work. Teammate Guy Segev finished the race, but unfortunately Guy Neve got sick and had to drop out. I didn't want it to end like it ended. I've been always told we still need you to prove on a Grand Tour that you can do it. In 2019, Neve made a major course correction, finishing the Giro d'Italia with flying colors and proving to himself that he can do it. 300 meters to the finish, I saw my two brothers there shouting for me with Israeli flags, and then it all started to to go out. To be honest, I never, I wasn't thinking that I will be that emotional and that I will completely be broken mentally. A lot of stress came out of me. And now, this dream team, consisting of riders from multiple nations and religions, are poised to ride their way into the history books as the first Israeli team to race in the Tour de France. I think we are really lucky and grateful to represent Israel all over the world, uh, show the world uh, the, the other side of Israel, the side that normally they don't get to hear in media. Emily Francis, I-24 News.